are now. Welcome back to the Severe Career Mode. It's me, Dan, back again. And today we are going to be playing. Uh, what we're going to be playing? We're going to be signing players today on the Severe Career Mode. So, um, yeah. So just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently. And I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing. So thank you guys for that as well. Um, right. So looking at the first squad, um, obviously I've looked at a couple of players. Um, I think we're to, so today. I think what we're just going to do is sort out the first team, and then um, if we've got time, look at the second team, and then maybe make some signings for the second team if we've got enough money left. A hint. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so obviously, looking at first team, obviously we need two new strikers. Um, I am going to replace Rakitic. Um, I don't know why we bought. I don't know why they bought Rakitic back uh, to Sevilla. Um, I was going to keep him, but I thought, do you know what? We can easily um, get a better player than that. Um, so we're going to uh, sell Rakitic and Fernando, uh, bring in a new centre-back to partner Diego Carlos and a goalkeeper as well. So I've looked at a couple of players and um, I wanted to bring in players that I haven't signed yet on FIFA 21. So let's go to the Transfer Hub and show you that. So goalkeeper, uh, Paulo Lopez, I thought... 82, he's 25, he's Spanish, we might as well bring him back from Roma, um, so yep, yeah, another one, uh, Joe Gomez, 83, I know he's injury prone, um, but hopefully he doesn't get injury pro injured that much, and he's 23, he's English, hopefully he'll uh, sign with us, and then for midfield, I thought, uh, let's, act, let's make a Croatian link, uh, so I've gone with um, Mateo Kovacic and uh, Marcelo Broz Brozovic, so... Yeah, a um, bit of a Croatian uh, midfield there. And then the two strikers. Um, I've gone with a Charleston. I could have gone... I was thinking of going with uh, Gabriel Jesus. But I think... Let's go with a Charleston. Um, I think he'll be cheaper than... Actually, let's quickly have a look. Um, Gabriel Jesus. Is he... He's probably um, a lot more money. Yeah, 47 million. Let's just put him into the... How much will he cost? 60 to 86. And yeah, so... Well, actually, 60 to 86. He's 59 to 83. Do you know what? I might see whoever gets... Who's cheaper. But then I get then again, I like Richardson's five-star weak foot. So... Yeah, I think I'd rather get Richardson. He's probably cheaper anyway. So... Obviously, Lautaro Martinez. A really good player. Um, I just think, you know, it'd be a really good partnership with Martinez and Richardson up top um so yeah so let's go I was actually I will tell you the truth I was actually looking at uh a Yazabal. um he's playing really well at the moment in in the uh in the um Spanish league and he, I know he's not a winger but he could he be a striker I've I'm actually I was thinking about making him a striker but I don't think he'll be that good as a striker. I don't think he's got the frame for it, if you know what I mean. And he's only got four three-star weak foot, which I know we can make that better. But I don't know. Uh, I'm going to leave that one up to you guys. Should we sign Mikel Yazabal if we've got enough money left? Um, then maybe so. Um, right, so obviously let's go with the main one first, and that is Lataro Martinez. Um, he will be... A lot of money, yeah, 100 million to 141 million. So let's approach to buy and let's see if we can get a deal with Inter Milan. Um, right, so do they want uh, who's our best? Well, we haven't got much in. Do you know what? I think we're just gonna offer them money straight up. Um, actually, do you know what? Let's just go for if we can get it for under night, if we can get it for under 100 million, that wouldn't be too bad. So Let's just go 90 million first thing. 107. So they will go a bit more, a bit less. So if we can get that for 100, less than 100 million, that would be great. So what about 95 plus the tell on 10%? Oh, there we go. 95 million. That's not too bad, actually, because I, I was thinking at least it's going to be like 120, 130, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, right, so obviously he will be a crucial first-team player. Um, so it's five years, that's good as well. 
Um, hopefully he doesn't want a release clause, which he doesn't, thank God. And the wages, um, let's just go with the same that he's got at, um, what's it? Right, so the next one, who will be, so he's 40 to 60, he's 55 to 77, 71 to 98. Um, wait, wait, we're not signing Ayazable yet, hang on. <laughs> uh... I think it is Richarlison. I actually look at Joe. Oh, actually, it might be Joe Gomez. So let's do Joe Gomez as he's 23. Right, Joe Gomez, welcome to the team. Uh, do they want any of our players that we don't want? Actually, no, let's just see. Right, so let's go 50 million up front. Will they take that? up front right so 71 million that's gonna be quite a bit so let's see if we can get that down uh, did we say 50 million I think we did didn't we so let's go 55 71 okay um, let's go 60 then 60 million for Joe Gomez they are sticking to that 71 million aren't they fine let's go 65 and that should be enough. Now they're just going up and up, aren't they? <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I'm trying to save a bit of money. Let's go. Let's go 68. And then. Yeah, okay. Right, we have a deal finally. Joe Gomez, welcome to the team. Right, squad roll. He will be crucial because he's a first team player. Right, five years as well, because he's only 23. He wants a release clause, but we're not giving him one. And then the wages we'll just give... Oh, actually, he wants a bit less than what we have, so that's fine. 56, yep, that's fine. Right, so there we go. Joe Gomez, welcome to the team. Right, so the next one should be Richarlison, 55, yeah. So let's go Richarlison next. Right, offer transfer. Let's go. Do you know what? Let's just go 60 million up front. 69. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Let's just do. Let's go 62. Will you take 62? All right. No, they really want 69 million, don't they? Um. Right. What about 65? They should accept 65. Yep, so there we go, 65. That will do very nicely. Right, he will be important first team player, which is good for me. Five years, that's good. Disregard release clause. <laughs> of course he wants a release clause. And the wages. Uh, he wants that. That's fine. Uh, let's accept that. So there we go. Welcome to the team, Richarlison. Right, so let's just update the first team now. So let's put Martinez and Richarlison. Who's right footed? They're both right footed, but we'll put Richarlison on that left-hand side because he can play down that left wing. And we need to put in Joe Gomez. And we haven't signed the goalkeeper yet, haven't we? Nope. So there we go. So already that's looking pretty good. We could keep Rakitic and Fernando, to be honest. And just go with that. But, you know, it's my it's the CBA. I am the CBA gamer. <laughs> if you know if you know me with signings, you you yeah. Anyway, um right, goalkeeper, we won't do uh oh actually fifty five seventy nine. Yeah, let's go let's do Kov Kovacic first. And then we'll go into Brozovic. So with Kovacic we will try and see if we can swap uh Fernando? Do they want Fernando? And then offer, I don't know, 30 million? No. Okay, so they want Fernando. So let's just propose another offer of 50 million and hopefully he'll accept that. Right, Lampard, you want a bit more money, do you? Okay, so 52 and a half. 54, yeah, okay, that'll do. <laughs> 54.2, that is very enough. 
All right, so welcome to the team, Mateo Kovacic. I need to do the uh, wages, don't I? Five years. That's right, we'll get all those wages back once we sell most of our players. And let's go 60k. 61k, that's fine. Remove bonus and submit that. Right, so there we go. Kovacic, welcome to the team. And then last two for the episode, we've got Brozovic and... Um, who we got? Brozovic and Paolo Lopez, haven't we? So, let's just go 50 million. Oh, there we go. 50 million for Brozovic. We'll prob I probably could have paid less than that. But we will take 50 million for Marcel Marcelo Brozovic. Yeah, so Brozovic is going to be like our well-rounder midfielder. And then we can have Kovacic who can just, you know, wander around in that midfield. I know Brozovic is 27 as well, but, you know, he'll be good. And, you know, if he doesn't grow, doesn't grow. If he doesn't, that's not it's not up to us, is anyway, is it? Right. Paul Lopez. Right, so will they do a straight-up goalkeeper swap? So Vlasic and 20 million. Yep, there we go. I probably could have paid for leave less than that for Paul Lopez, but we shall keep that. <laughs> Right, so he will be important. Yep, that's fine. He's our goalkeeper. Four years, that's fine. He wants a release clause, but we're not going to give it to him. I was going to go with Kepa, um, you know, the goal, a Chelsea goalkeeper. Um, but in the end, I was like, ah, oh, do you know what? We won't. We won't. Not just yet. Right, so there we go. Paul Lopez, welcome to the team. Uh, yeah, so with Mikel Oyarzabal, I'm going to leave it up to you guys if we want to sell him or not. Uh, not sell him, if you want to by him i personally i just don't see where he goes into the team i know we got suso maybe dropping suso down to that second team maybe um that's the only thing i could think of but yeah uh so in goes brozovic and in goes kovacic and uh campos can go there and suso can go there and you know we've got navas there as well so and obviously paul lopez there so i think we are actually not doing too bad for the first team but we need to do the second team and we shall have we got time to do look at the second team um let's look at their pressure on heavy touch no we would not we want let's keep on balance because i like to keep on balance wow the players in the box let's take that down a bit but we can keep it wide width as wide as it's good um high depth as well quite high depth and quite high width um Rolls, uh, captain, obviously, Navas. Free kicks. Is there anyone better than Suso? Actually, Acuna's not too bad. Uh, it looks like it's Suso, so let's just leave it as Suso. Long free kicks. Suso's not too bad again. Acuna's uh, not too bad as well. So let's just keep with a Suso. And then penalties. Um, it looks like it's Ocampos. Yep. And then... Uh, for yeah let's just make it suso the set piece taker why not um right so yeah that's going to be it for today guys um so that's the first team next time we'll look at the second team um i will also advance a couple days just to see if we can sell some couple of players and stuff like that uh so i'm actually going to end it here for today so please like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys next time so right i'm going bye